Hey there, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. I'm here today to share a real quick tutorial with you and that is how to make your own fabric tape. I love making fabric tape myself because then I can choose exactly the colors and patterns that I love to use in my crafts. The supplies that you're gonna need for this are pretty basic. You just want some cotton fabric, something with a small pattern or design works best. For this, I used a roll of fabric, but fat quarters work well too. Then you also need permanent double-sided tape. And then you want non-stick scissors or a rotary cutter and a mat. If you don't have a rotary cutter, it's not a huge deal. Scissors work just fine. And then clothespins here are optional, but I like to use them to clip together the fabric tape rolls and keep them organized. Here we go, start with your fabric. I got this roll at Joann Fabrics and I absolutely fell in love with these beautiful spring patterns and colors. I absolutely love pink and blue together. And so this was actually a bit more of an investment because I bought like a full roll. If you're looking to keep this product a bit more budget friendly, I would recommend just buying uh, fat quarters when they're on sale at the fabric store. Just remember to get something with like a small pattern or design in it. Like I love this paisley pattern here. Then you just wanna smooth out your fabric and iron it if need be. So on my fabric rolls, there was one seam in the middle. So I just ended up cutting along the seam instead of ironing out my fabric. Grab your double-sided tape. So here I'm using Scotch half-inch permanent double-sided tape. Just smooth it right onto the fabric. I find it difficult to get the tape to line up exactly against the edge of the fabric, so oftentimes I will just smooth it close to the edge and then trim away on both sides. Here I'm using non-stick scissors just because when I'm cutting anything with adhesive on it, like double-sided tape, I like to use non-stick scissors, but it's not uh, absolutely necessary especially for trimming the edges. You could use uh, fabric scissors as well, whatever you have. But if you do have some sort of nonstick scissor, I would use it, especially in case you accidentally snip away at part of the edge of that tape while you're trimming away the fabric. And then once it's all trimmed away, you can just roll it up and here's where that clothespin comes in super handy. That's how I secure each of my rolls of fabric tape. And so for that one I used half inch tape, but for smaller crafting projects I like to use quarter inch tape. And I really, really love this super tape. It's a permanent adhesive tape, so it's great for small craft projects. I used it on, I think, um, some fabric tape mini pumpkins that I did a few years ago, and I'm going to be using it again on another spring project here. I like it because it has a thicker backing, so it's easier to maneuver with and work with on craft projects when you go to peel away that backing to actually use the fabric tape. But the process is exactly the same, just smooth it onto the fabric and trim away the excess. If you do have a rotary cutter and a mat, the process is exactly the same. It just is a bit quicker to do because the cutting goes by faster. So I'll show you that here real quick as well. And then my final tip for you here is if you only have shorter lengths of fabric, maybe you have some small scrap pieces, you can still make a longer piece of tape. All you want to do is start by smoothing the tape onto the fabric like you normally would, then flip it over, then line up the seams or the edges between the two pieces of fabric and continue to smooth them down onto the tape end on end. And this is why using something with a small pattern on it really works better. It's less obvious where the seams are between the smaller pieces of fabric along your tape. And then just trim away along the edges. Here 
And here I have several cute little rolls of fabric tape ready for my spring crafting. I am for sure using them in at least one spring craft uh, this year around Easter time, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you're looking to get crafting right away, some of my favorite uses for fabric tape are adding them to letters and packages. You could seal a letter or a package with a colorful strip of tape, decorate bookmarks, you can use them on gift wrap and gift tags. I love the idea of wrapping a gift with plain brown craft paper and then sealing with fabric tape or adorning gift tags with tape. And then you can also make your own stickers. You can cut them out into fun shapes and use them that way. The fabric is a little bit thicker and has a little bit more texture than washi tape, so it's just a little something fun and different for your crafting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy making!